Hey guys, Waggish American here with another profoundly late build video. Again, I announced this like eight months ago at this point, and I just never got around to recording it and finishing it, so let's get at it today. Uh, today I'll be building Tamiya's BF109 E3 148 scale in Adolf Gallon's French theater colors. It's a pretty straightforward build, so commentary is going to be a bit minimal. Um, custom color mixes will be displayed in text on the screen. I hope you guys enjoy it. I initially just dry brushed all these with dark gun metal, but on this prominent structure here in the nose, I painted it with silver. Uh, this doesn't have any basis I could tell in reality, but it makes it pop where otherwise it would have vanished into the inlet, so I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I painted the interior of this project with a black base as opposed to a pre-shade. The RLM-02 is a light enough color that it doesn't eat up too much excess paint, and I find that 109 cockpits tend to not have enough structure anyway to justify the extra time and precision for pre-shading. I picked out the interior details with the typical Vallejo colors, um, oft I often use black, red, white, yellow, these sorts of things.
I did not get it on recording for this project, but the interior wash was done with Flory Models Dark Earth. On this interior, most chipping was done with a fine brush in Vallejo Silver. I had moved away from the brush in favor of pencil, but I've lately found myself returning back to the brush technique with um, a bit more, more, more moderation that I had been lacking a few years ago when I initially got off of it. I got really lucky to have not ruined the project here. The contact between the cockpit and the fuselage was not particularly sturdy, and I absolutely dumped my thick liquid cement on the joint, which could have very easily ruined the cockpit paintwork or even warped the material. This kit had one of the best fitting positionable slash assemblable flaps I've ever built, which is fascinating given that they don't even really have positive locators.
due partially to the scheme, partially to a lack of white paint at my local model shop, and partially to time constraints, I elected to paint the entire model with a pre-shade, um, continuing my, my trend recently away from black basing in most applications. In hindsight, I do wish I had done the underside in a dark red or brown, though. After masking, I re-appreciated the upper surface panel lines. I like the effect that this had. I feel like it helps to not wash out uh, the, the color when secondary and usually darker colors, which are not over a strong pre-shade, dominate the lighter colors to the eye. Uh, this can homogenize the finish as you perceive it. Um, I'll link a Dugues model article where I learned about this, and I've been trying to apply, apply that to my modeling lately. Um, going harder on non-uniformity before decals and gloss coats. So I got this kit from a discount section of my local hobby shop. Everything there had been kind of opened. Most of it hadn't been worked on, but this kit contained a mystery decal sheet which mimicked the original decals but seemed much thinner um, and, and just better printed all around. When they worked, they looked incredible. They sucked into the decals like paint and the carrier was totally invisible all while being as thin as I have ever seen. The other 50% of the time, they would refuse to move on to the model, uh, they'd break apart, or they'd have terrible color saturation and transparency. Most of the reds were almost unusable. Most of the large decals and stencils in this model are from the mystery sheet, while basically anything which is red with no white layer or are uh, long or thin decals come from the standard Tamiya kit sheet. As usual, the decals were applied on top of a gloss coat with an initial application of Microset and a solvent application post-dry with Solvacet. Curiously, despite the issues with the mystery decals, um, they did take solvent without any problem.
After a sealing coat of Tammy gloss, the exterior is washed with Flory Models Black. I've watered down my bottle a little bit too much since I got it. Uh, it's, it should be much more uniform than what you see here. The landing gear legs fit very solidly and aligned easily without much issue. Exhaust stains were sprayed with a mixture of black and brown, thinned around 90-10 thinner retarder to paint at around 8-10 to 10 PSI. I like how the exhaust came out, although I think it may have been a bit thick for the level of weathering present on the rest of the finish. My hands started to get a little bit too shaky while trying to do the, the gun smoke, and I think they look a bit too rough. Um, one of the first things on my list of things to do after I get back from, from university is to fix this area. For some reason this was the only clear part I actually have footage for. I attached the canopy segment with a very careful application of Tamiya Ultra Thin Cement as opposed to Crystal Clear. I find myself lately preferring the liquid cement in applications where I feel I can safely apply them. Um, I've been having pretty big issues with the Crystal Clear not getting enough material on to actually hold the parts while without creating bulges or smudges or stains on the panes. So, uh, at the moment, I'm mostly relegating it to creating small windows, filling gaps, and uh, creating instrument faces. So yeah, that's the build completed. I think this model came out okay. Um, I think the colors look pretty good. The weathering, I feel, still needs some work. Um, just getting the, the balance of the different elements. Part, a lot of parts of this look way too clean, especially, uh, especially compared with how heavy the exhaust staining is, in my opinion. But it's, I think it's much better than some of the things I've built in the past, where just uh, going ham was the order of the day. So yeah, I'm not displeased with it. Um, I picked this subject because I read uh, Adolf Gallant's book, The First and the Last, 
and now I'm really interested in possibly doing a couple of his aircraft specifically. So if that would interest you, um, keep an eye out and let me know in the comments. And I will see you guys next time.